What's up guys, Ryan back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you a cheap and easy way uh, to wash your car. Now if you go expensive on anything, make sure that it's a badass power washer because I've tried many many soaps and wheel cleaning agents and this and that and honestly they have very very similar effect. Whether it's like the Walmart brand of soaps or it's some of the top of the line soaps that cost you you know an arm and a leg, you can get a power washer for around a hundred bucks. Uh, I've had mine, it's lasted me five years and honestly it gets the job done so much faster and you know it's not necessarily better because if you put that elbow grease into it, really put that muscle in there, then you'll get it just as good as a power washer uh, if you just have a regular conventional hose. But honestly, to save time, if you're going to be doing it yourself all the time, then there's nothing better than a power washer. Before we begin, let me give you a quick checklist on all the things you need to wash the exterior of your car exceptionally well. Money back guarantee. Some cheap soap under $10. This, uh, you know, every one to two months, you want to wax your car. This is just some cheap wax right here. It's a spray wax. Wax that you put on yourself and, you know, scrub into the paint. That does work better, but if you keep up every month on waxing your car, you really don't need to do that. So that was under $20. This thing's like four bucks. It's uh, to clean, you know, the spaces in between your wheels. Makes it a lot easier excellent highly recommend these are just essentially like car sham wows uh, for that hand dry takes all the water off really well and you won't get water spots with those so solid and these are just towels for drying off the rims I kind of like to have different towels for the rims and different towels you know for the whole other exterior the paint and whatnot so along with the towels I like to have uh, two little sponges as well so this would be for all the exterior like the paintwork and this is going to be for the wheels this way it keeps from getting debris from your rims and possibly spreading it to your paint and ended up you know scratching your paint so it's good to have two drying cloths one for the rims and one for the paint job and then same here with applying the soap and everything one for the paint and one for the rims all right, let me give you guys a quick look at the dirtiness of my car. You can see there's a bunch of bugs everywhere, a bunch of dust. Rims look absolutely atrocious. Like, honestly, look at that. It's brake dust central right there. Nasty. It's just uh, a lot of dust. You know, not like mud or anything. Right now, it's not the dirtiest, but it is pretty dirty. And, uh,. I'm going to show you guys how to clean it. Another little thing I want to mention before we start washing is these little foam blasters right here. You know, you can get them on conventional hoses. You can get them on power washers. Um, you know, it wastes a heck of a lot of soap. And it really doesn't do anything else than just look cool by adding a bunch of crazy foamy white soap to your car but in reality it's not gonna get any more grime off really any easier maybe a tiny bit easier but if you put in this the work flex those muscles and scrub hard like there's no reason for one of these and i actually got this one on amazon it lasted me two three power washes and then it broke so not really worth the money just in my opinion all right the first step once you've added your soap to the water bucket is taking your hose or this handy dandy assault weapon right here and giving your car a good nice spray so let's begin ba, ba, ba. okay so next you want to grab your soap bucket and you want to have this beautiful little hand sponge you can use any sponge, but the hand sponge is solid because you get more leverage. And uh, you just want to soak it in there. Go ahead and a nice firm scrub down on all of the exterior paint, windshield, 
eBay carbon fiber parts that are coming off because I hit curbs. Another thing too is a nice solid motion straight across. Put that elbow grease into it. You should see a little flex in your arm. That's how you know you got the proper strength to be uh, watching your car. Don't do any half-ass shit like this. Another key pointer is working from top to bottom. It's gonna let the dust and dirt trickle down so you're not doing the job twice. See, the whole reason I got my car lowered so I can reach the roof easier. It's a win-win situation. Gotta kill that dirt. Now keeping up with that top to bottom notion as I mentioned before, I'm gonna save the rims for last. Uh, that way I can hit it with my other hand sponge and none of the dirt from the top part of my car and all the paint will trickle down to the rim. So save that for last, use a different sponge, and you'll be 1,000. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Get the mirror caps. They pick up a lot of debris. Scrub this son of a bitch hard. So the last thing you want to scrub down with soap is the rims. And you want to have your handy dandy bucket, your other older hand sponge. It doesn't have to be older, but just a different hand sponge. And uh, the sponge stick. It's probably not what it's called, but close enough. If you have any type of performance brakes, then uh, expect a lot of brake dust and expect to be cleaning your rims quite often. So I like to get them nice and wet with the sponge, go over them pretty thoroughly, and then the little scrub stick is going to do the rest of the job, really get that detail in there. Really focus on each and every spoke to ensure you ain't missing anything. Get that little brake caliber too. Another thing I like to do is get inside the rims as much as possible. Get all that dust off. Just to give it an overall better appearance. That's looking like Mr. Clean right there. Other than that. And then you can take this uh, scrub stick, get back a little bit behind the brake caliber and the brake disc and then this is really good for cleaning like that hard to reach spot of the rim that really no one sees and hardly anyone cleans but you know what we go the extra mile here boys Ooh, it's hot out here perfect time to debed your car you guys but for real once you wash down your entire car with soap what you're going to want to do is give it a secondary spray and get all that uh, soap off. So let's do it. Alright, right after you rinse the car, uh, if you want to, this is optional, put some wax on it. I just use spray wax because I do it like once a month, just a real light coat. So definitely the, the wax you apply by hand works a heck of a lot better, but this will do the trick too. So just a tiny little squirt 
on each part of the car. You really don't need much of this stuff unless you haven't waxed your car in like 20 years. But if you wax it, you know, somewhat regularly or it's still a new car, then don't put a lot on or you'll make a bunch of smudges. All right, folks. So once you're done spraying, you want to grab some ShamWows and get to drying. Now, a little tip to prevent water spots completely is if the car ends up drying out before you get to that part of the car, uh, just on its own, say it's really hot like it is today and it just dries out that part of the car, you kind of want to go and just rinse it over again uh, and just hand dry it yourself. That's going to make sure you don't have any water spots on your car. So, helpful tip boys, ladies, gentlemen, folks of all ages. Alright, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this. I'm going to cut, 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 cut. Alright guys, so you're pretty much finished, however, there's one thing that I do recommend you buy and that is some tire shine for that extra flare that I know you boys and girls all love. With this tire shine, I've tried a couple different brands, um, Armor All, Meguiar's, some other stuff, I don't even remember the names, and I haven't really noticed too much difference. I mean, some do it, get it a tiny bit shinier, uh, there's spray that you can buy in these and it's definitely a little bit easier to apply granted you're gonna kind of make a mess on your uh, body panels a little bit because the spray is gonna it's gonna spray all over just like that thing it's gonna bust it's quality you can trust wow, I'm a, guess I'm a rapper now honestly there's really not much difference uh, no matter which one you get the key point though, when you apply this, you want to at least wait 30 minutes. Um, if it's colder weather, you want to wait a little bit more, like an hour, before you actually drive uh, your car once this stuff is applied. Or the wheels will actually kick this stuff up and it'll get all over your nice clean car. And uh, you don't want that because you don't want to do the job again when you just spent probably a couple hours cleaning your car. So, no bueno. Folks, a quick demo in case you don't know how to apply this stuff, but basically you want one of these little spongy things. Uh, you don't have to have it. Actually, you kind of do. They usually come with them. Uh, unless you have a spray, then you really don't have to. No, you still kind of do have to have one of these. This is good to just spread it around, make sure there's no excess stuff in this. So you put it on top of it, just like that, and you rub it solidly just around the perimeter obviously the wheel I usually do about about half the wheel with one you know little line of that good stuff and then uh, I reapply go for the second line right here and do the other half Another thing I like to do once I apply it is just go around the perimeter of the rim with a rag, kind of wipe it all down. Because some of the sometimes that uh, tire shine can get on your rim, and if it's on your rim, it's gonna pick up dirt and just overall make your rims just look dirtier and pick up dirt faster. All right, guys, let me give you a quick little walk around of the finished product, real quick, just to verify. So it's probably shaky. If so, I'm sorry about that. Oh yeah, coming around to that side. Yeah, it's looking solid. It's looking beautiful. 100% money. You guys like my commentary? If you see a little specks on the front, that's just because I have a bunch of chips. If you have a loaded car and you don't have a clear bra on the front of your car, uh, rest in peace because you're going to get a ton of little chips that you can't get off, unfortunately. But yeah, you can see it's all about just putting in the time and getting that salt scrub to try to pick off every scrape of dirt you could possibly see. Uh, one more tip for you guys or just something to maybe consider getting is a California duster. Uh, especially if you live in California, surprise surprise, or any place kind of like it, 
there's always just a bunch of dust that accumulates really quick. And this thing works like a champ to get all the dust out without scratching the paint. So this will, you know, improve the longevity of your car wash and uh, yeah, keeps your ride shiny. So boom, I think these are about 20, 30 bucks. Get one of these bad boys. This is not a paid advertisement, but I wish it was. Sponsor me, please. All right, guys, well, I'm going to wrap this video up. Moral of the story, it's more about the quality you put into washing your car rather than the products you use. You can get away with using some cheap soap and not having any window cleaner or rim cleaner if you just put in that little elbow grease and pay, you know, close attention to detail. That being said, do it how you want it. You know, in worst case scenarios, your car's super dirty, it may speed up the process, but that's really all it's gonna do. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and make sure you like and comment and subscribe. Just, just, just do it all for me, guys, honestly. Just, just do it all. Hit that like button, like, as many times as you can on all my videos, and comment on all my videos. What the fuck are you doing, Dragonfly? You only have to hit that subscribe button once though, so.